Shima, um, Margaret, Margaret, and okay. I think that's that's all the people. Please, I'm, I'm among that list as well. What's your name? Sorry, Samira. <laughs> oh, Samira. Got okay, nice. okay, yes, Samira and Kizzy. Okay, Samira and Kizzy. Did I get everyone? I read my, the my name is Grace. Grace. Okay, I've got you. Have I got everyone? I read just to be sure. That's after Chima. Okay, so I've got Naomi, Omawumi, Chima, Margaret, Samira, Kezi, and Grace. Right? Yes, that's everybody. Okay, so this is how we're going to say, this is how we're going to get the winner. I need the first person that would give me Three words starting with E. Three words starting with E. And that's all the list of the people that I've mentioned. Naomi, Amomi, Chima, Margaret, Samira, Kezi, and Grace. Three words starting with E. Okay, okay, okay. That was quick. All right, I think the first person... Oh, you know, it depends on the internet connection. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, but like I, 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 I can't. Like the internet connection is what I say. The first person I can see here is Omomi. Omomi is the first one that typed the first three letter words starting with Ebony. So she's type E for Ebony, E for Enter, and E for E. So Omomi, you are our first winner. Just like last week, can I just say that's my sister? <laughs> I am not cheating because it's clear. That's my sister, bro. She's been like, I think next, next, uh, next one, Irene, we have to ban her from entering the game. <laughs> so, Mommy, for the next games, like you're not allowed. Is anyone waiting? Yeah, you're not allowed. Okay. So, Mommy is our first winner. Can we please give her a round of applause and note that? Okay. Now, for the rest of the girls, because I want you guys to win. This again is really you taking quick. Me back? the first person to grab me a towel and show it on the screen. Oh. First person to grab a towel and show it on the screen. I am looking. Oh, Samira, 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 Samira is the first person. Samira won that one. Sorry, Samira won that one. I almost broke my leg. Let me the so actually, I think it's because Samira was the it first. Well person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, you no. know. Right, one more chance. Oh. Yes, this let's do one this. more chance. Okay. I mean, the first person to grab me. I mean, I mean, hmm. Let me see. Hmm. This is a tough one. The first person to grab me. Uh, no, you all have pens, so don't make it easy. <laughs> not, okay, you know what? We're going to come back to that one because I feel like I have something I want to say, but we're going to come back to that. But right now we have two winners. We have Omomi and we have Samira. At the end of the event, we're going to announce your prizes. So that means you have to stay to the end of the event. If you do leave before that, you forfeit your prize and we have to give it to somebody else. Okay? So that's the rule of the game. You have to stay to the end of the event. Okay. Now let's get to what we are here for. So I am going to be introducing an amazing, amazing, amazing woman. As we all know, we've already seen her. We've seen some of her work. We've seen what she does. And, you know, she's always talking to us on the benefits of crafting. She has a humble years of experience when it comes to crafting sewing, and everything that requires work and um, skill acquisition. Okay. Okay, I have to read that bio. I'm sorry because I can't just read that. So I have to read that bio for you guys to really. Okay, I'm not sure which background that is coming from. Can you all please um, um, mute yourself now, please? Can everyone mute themselves, please? Lillian? Okay, yeah. All right. So Victoria Empowerment, she's okay. She is an empowerment and community development advocate who delights and passionate about helping people through connection 
to the right network. A creative designer, a go-getter, energetic and motivational, and a relationship coach and counselor. So she's going to be taking us through some sewing today. And as I said earlier, our topic today has been craft, the benefit of crafting. Please let's welcome Victoria Oluwaye. Good evening, everybody. Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. I'm so happy and excited to be here. Um, without much ado, uh, as we all know, and we said it uh, over and over for the past uh, few minutes that we are here, we'll be talking about uh, the coming effect of skill acquisition. And uh, our focus is, uh, the, 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 the workshop is on mental resilience, or mental resilience. So the benefits of sewing, and uh, our focus mainly today is actually on sewing. Uh, my own definition of resilience is uh, the ability to adapt to stress and, and adversity. And we all know there's a lot going on now. We need something that can describe as an escape, an escape route. So and good, the good thing is we have the way out. Like they always say, there's always a way out of anything. So, and one of those ways is um, um, sewing. Something interesting about sewing is it, it's, it's like it, it, it kind of engages the mind, mind with something that makes you to be focused. You know, you're sewing and you can't, you can't be sewing. Is it that, especially when you're using needles, even if you are using the sewing machine, you don't want to sew your own fingers. So you'll be more careful. And even if you are using needle, you don't want to choke, you don't want the needle to poke you. So you have to be, to have to, you have you have your hundred percent focus and attention on what you're doing. And that's what sewing does. You know, your your totality is on what you're doing. So and when, when your totality is on what you're doing, at that point, it's not it's not when your system is um is uh, is um it's not when your system your system is is troubled. You are calm because you're you're trying to gaze on something, and that's what sewing does. You focus your energy on on something, and that's one of the things that have been found to improve mental health. And the fact that all your energy is focused on it. By the time you focus your energy on something to achieve something, when you finish that thing, there's this sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. And it makes you feel good about yourself. Whoa, this is me. We're talking about a project that you, you started from scratch and you're able to finish and that's it. So, and uh, 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 apart from the sense of fulfillment, the fact that you are anxious to, to see the end of what you started. You, you are anxious to see the outcome. It, it, it brings a kind of feeling within you. So then according to, um, uh, there's a particular article that was published in, I think in February, that they found from research, from research, we have found sewing to be an effective way to combat to combat uh, depression. Because when you, when you put needle in something or when needle is going into your fabric, when you're sewing, there's, it's, you know, it's like a, a kind of absorption and there's a flow. When there's a flow, you are relaxed and you are focused, <laughs> you know? So then um, the fact that uh, your mind is calm, it's, it, kind of, it kind of reduces stress and anxiety. So you are forced to concentrate on a particular task. So there's a way by which you do all that, that you will feel calm and relaxed. So even if after that, you now want to do something else, well, but at that moment, it's leaving you with a kind of calmness. There's, a, there's, there's something around you. And that's, that's, that's a good thing. And, um, and another thing is we find, I'll still come back to the other part later, uh, the importance of this to the children, but I'll talk about that later in my next um, 
when I have the other minutes to finish that. One important thing is sewing has been found to be therapeutic. And I will, I will associate more on that when I come back. So I don't know whether I still have one minute to say something before I come back to the next thing. One minute, is that okay? Yes, you have one minute, yes. You have one one minute. minute, okay. So this is very, very important, but I will highlight it on the chat. Toy is therapeutic because it is physical. Then it, it helps you to maintain a proper posture, which you're going to do first when we start now. You're focused on what you're doing. You can't be jumping all over the places. So you, you are in a posture and everything is relaxed. So then the fact that you're moving your fingers is a form of exercise on its own because really everything is just moving. So it increases the flow. Then it has been found to actually lower high blood pressure. So I, I don't know if, if I have, if sewing will help in lowering my high blood pressure, that, that means it has saved me a lot of visits to the hospital or some drugs, you know. Then uh, the, the second to the last, it improves your mood, your mood, and it helps your immune system as well. You know, I, personally, when I'm down, or if I'm trying to work on a particular project apart from sewing, and I've been making effort to get this done for a while, by the time I decide to just say, you know what, let me just make something. After that, I, I, would, I, I won't be able to explain where the motivation will come from, and that's it. So I want to encourage all of us today. And I can assure you, anyone can sew. Don't say, I can also, I, I, I'm a needle phobia. No, anyone can sew. So that's it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we please give a round of applause for Victoria? I have to, I literally had to buy my tongue to not say Auntie Victoria. Please give oh, a round no. of applause, that was amazing. Of <laughs> so that is obviously just a, a start of it just for you guys to know what to expect she just wanted to talk to you before we get into the practical section for anyone at all I feel like a lot of us probably have a little bit of experience when it comes to sewing because I feel like a lot of people have needle and thread in their house and you know like that t-shirt that you really like and then there's a pot button that's popped here and there but there's like a little O, and then you just have to sew it together so I feel like a lot of people probably have already used, you know, needle and tread once or twice in their lifetime. And some of us are pros. We actually use the machine. We're not going to brag, but you know, we're pro. So this is a little game that we're going to play. Before we get into the um, practical, I want to know what sort of, how much experience you have when it comes to sewing. So in the comment section, just let me know if you like, you know, I'm very good with needle and tread. I can sew, I can use a machine. I want to know what level you're on so that at the end of the practical, I want to be able to gauge, you know, so that we know if your if your thing is really good, we we'll know that it's because you have experience. Yes. And if you've never sewn before, we we'll know that at least just from learning this skill today, you're able to do something that amazing. So I want to know what level you're on. So if you're really good at sewing, put in the comment section. If you've never sewn before, put in the comment section. Just let's know what level you're on so that we can interact. So before I call back Victoria, once again, can we all just get all the stuff that we are going to need for the practical? Once we start the practical, which is going to be about 20 minutes, like Auntie Victoria said, you have to concentrate, you have to sit down and be able to do it. And I want everyone to really participate, okay? This is easy. It doesn't require anything. So can we all, if you don't already have it on your table right now, can we all just make sure we have this? So what you're going to need is... a. Uh, a tape measure right there. Okay, gonna need some needle and thread. Okay, a piece of cloth, any sort of cloth would do. It could be a scarf. If you have a whole scarf, you know, that you're not using, you can transform it. Or even if it's a top, a t-shirt, something that is nice and soft that you can work with. So any piece of clothing at all. And you're going to need some scissors we're going to be doing some cutting and you're going to need some pencil i think in case you need to measure and stuff so and also i would suggest you have a piece of paper 
so that when Auntie Victoria gives us the information we need, you'll be able to write it down and you'll be able to use the instruction to follow as we go along. Like I said, the practical is going to take about 20 minutes and I really want everyone to focus and be able to like, you know, do it like you know everyone be part of it so i don't want anyone you know moving at all to concentrate so can we make sure we have everything that we need and just place it on your side we have two more minutes before we get into the practical if you need to get yourself a bottle of water if you need a glass of wine you know this is something that requires energy if you need a glass of wine come by all means get yourself a glass of wine and just put it by your side if you need the cosette <laughs> if you need Red Bull for energy, you're going to need it. If you need a cup of tea, a cup of coffee to stay awake, all I know is everybody is going to participate. Last week, I let a lot of people have. I'm not going to mention names. Maureen, Esther, I'm not measuring names. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm not letting anyone off today because I am going to call you out and I'm going to find you. You have no excuse today. Over to you, Irene. Okay. Once again, I want to say thank you to our funders, the Big Lottery Fund, um, Near Neighborhood, and um, ABC Small Grants. Yeah. This wouldn't have been possible today without this uh, organization I've mentioned. I want to say thank you so much. We appreciate all you're doing in the community. Uh, a big thank you still to everyone on the platform. There are a lot of people I'm seeing here for the first time. We have a new member of our organization, James. James, you're welcome. We appreciate you. I have, um, uh, I've forgotten her name. It's, she was invited by um, Rachel. I want to say thank you for coming. I will not mention all the names here, but there are a lot of people that have not been on this platform before. We want to say thank you. We appreciate you. As um, Auntie Victoria starts, I want as many that could be part of this should be part of it. And if you cannot be part of it, just watch and maybe later you could practice what has been taught and this is also recorded is on facebook for those that don't want to be recorded you can turn off your camera but for those that are comfortable with their camera on that's fine so please be aware that is recorded once again i want to say thank you to everyone on the platform we appreciate you all over to you goldie okay all right Okay, so are we all ready? Are we all ready? Yeah. The point where I'm going to need some excitement again. You know Ooh, I cannot function. I need you guys to ginger me, okay? I need the energy to ginger me. This is when I know you guys are with me. Are you guys with me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So I am going to pass it over back to Auntie Victoria. You have 20 minutes for us to be able to do this skill. Yeah. To Victoria. Sorry, <laughs> let me say that again. To Victoria. Oh, give me creation. Give me you creation have 20 to minutes. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Let me leave my Nanja side to the side. And like, you know, <laughs> you have 20 minutes. So we are going to be, you know, going through this. Like I said, guys, this is just a fun thing. Whether you have previous experience of sewing or not, this is just meant to be a fun, relaxing thing. Just mm -hmm. enjoy it. At the end of this, yeah. what I want us to take away is the fact that we're able to sit down as a sisterhood and James as well, as a brotherhood, we're able to sit down and, you know, be able to, you know, just do something. Like I said, this is something that's supposed to uplift your spirits whenever you're feeling down. These are the things that you can do to help you feel better. These are things you can do to help your mental health. So that's what Victoria, that is what Victoria will be taking us through. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Auntie Victoria, that is what she <laughs> will be I, I cannot do it. I am sorry. You will take us. You will take us. It's fine. That is what you she will take taking us through. <laughs> All right, so please let's give um, a round of applause and we welcome back our facilitator for this evening who is going to be teaching us the benefits of crafting as we go into the practical section of this event. Please welcome Victoria once again. Thank you so much. Are we ready? Yeah. We are all here for good thing, good time. Anyway, I believe some of the fabrics that we have with us, they're just like this. Like um, rectangle. A square. Rectangle, rectangle or square. Rectangle, rectangle or square. But what we are after is actually a Please, triangle. Can you, can you spotlight her, the main screen, so that we can see her properly? Okay. Um, I spotlight them. Um, 
Jesus. No, spotlight be key creation. That is actually what I spotlight, but no, let no, me change. No, it where the, the audio one. is coming from. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, I know the one she's speaking on right now is the one that is pinned on the screen. She is already pinned on the screen right now. The, the one okay. she's speaking from is not like directly in front of her. She needs this. Okay. We need to see the second one. So that is the one that okay. needs to be spotlighted. We'll still hear her, but the other one needs to be spotlighted. Okay. Okay. Right, that means it's the other one. Okay. So that means yes. it's the Vic. Auntie, go, go on. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. So, but what we are after is actually the no. triangle. Sorry, I have an idea. Irene, can you take me back? Do the thing I told you to do, which is the one you pin two videos side to side. Okay, can you do cool. that with both of our videos, please? Carry on, Auntie Vicky. Sorry. Carry okay. on. So this is what we started with. Either a square or a rectangle. We started with either a square or a rectangle. But what we are actually after is for you to fold it in the middle, as if, this is what we're after. I'm only interested in this and I will explain why. Are we using a piece of paper? No, 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 I'm just using that to explain. Okay. I'll, I'll take my fabric now. Okay. Yeah. So this is just what I'm after. And the reason why I'm after this is, I'm going to cut this off. I'm cutting this off. I've got this. I've got this. And the reason being that if you want to make anything like this, we have to cut in what we call bias. So that, because when you cut on bias, this place is elastic. So it will be easier for you to wipe it around. So this is where we are going. This is where we are going. This is just what we need. So I'm going to show you with fabric now. So the fabrics you've got, they're just like this. And I said, you fold it in the middle so that you have this. You know, like you have your bandana. If you fold your bandana in the middle to form a, a, a triangle, this is what you will have. Can you see? So what you want to do now is you cut it in the middle. From that point, you just cut it down. Let me use my research. Are we getting it? Please, if you are not getting it, just let me know. I Sorry. am not getting <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, I'm not the only one. I can't see what she's doing. Can, can you move? We can only see your body, but we can't see you. what you're doing. That okay. is why she needs to be spotlighted. The other video. Okay, hold on. Other... Okay, sorry, yeah. Can I just spotlight her two cameras so we could be? Oh yeah, you can two. do the two That's as well. I mean, pin yeah, both yeah. of them like like we did in the beginning. You just click on spotlights. It has to be spotlighted. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, is it better now? One minute, Auntie. Hold on, please. Okay, you can go ahead, Auntie. Okay. Mm -mm. Well done. This is your fabric. <laughs> not yet. She's still not facing the camera directly. That's why we can't see her. She's sitting sideways. So okay. we can see her hand. Better now. Yes. Slightly better, but I think you're walking oh, table with Noah. Yeah. Uh, um, it's because she has two cameras. Oh, okay. So, um, the, the one where the audio is not coming from, if it's spotlighted, that's what everybody will be seeing. Okay. Okay. You can, you, can you spotlight Vic then? Mm -hmm. Vic creation is needs to be spotlighted. Okay, Vic creation. Okay. Yeah. Is it this one? You, okay. So, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, this one now. Okay, I think it's better now. Okay, this is what everybody has got with you. A piece of fabric. So all I want you to do is just cross it over from the, from the center as if you want to make a triangle. I'm coming. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Can you see now from this point? I'm just going to go down. Can you see what I've done? Can everyone see it? Yes, I can see it, thank you. Okay. That's why I started with that paper. Maybe I should use the paper again so that you understand. No, we understand now. We can see what you have done. You can see now, okay. So if you can see now, all I want is to just cut from here. I'm cutting from this point to where it stopped because I only need like 36 inches. Can you see? Can everyone see it now? If, yes. you have a scarf, yes. if you have a regular scarf that is square, you may not need to stress yourself for that because that one is straightforward. Just fold it into like an um, handkerchief. But what we've got here now, because the, the, the fabric is not regular, so but just make sure you get to that point where you have the end here and you have this end here and you cut it out. I'm going to cut it out now. Can you see? So if I cut it out, this is what I'm going to have. So then I'll start rolling it around. If you cut it out, this is what you're going to get. If you cut it out, this is what you're going to get. Remember, from this point, you folded it and you have that sharp end from, from the triangle and you go this way. So you cut it out to this end. Do you understand? Yes. Please, if you don't understand, just let me know because I just need you to. This is the fabric that you got. This is the fabric that you got like this. Whatever you got is like this. And what we want is for you to just fold it over this way. So hold this pointed edge and just fold it so you get to the last part of it. Fold, fold the two pointed edges like this. This one. And this is what you've got. Can you see? Yeah. Then I said, just cut this bit. Cut it from the middle. Mm -hmm. So that you have a perfect triangle. Mm -hmm. So if you are struggling with that, I will tell you what to do. This is what you, you are going to grab now. Can you see? Can yes. everyone see this? This mm -hmm. is what you are going to have with your fabric. And just measure from this point to here, five inches. That's all, and cut it out. This is what you are going to have. And this is what I've got here. You can see that pointed edge that started from here to this end. Have we all done that now? As, has everyone done that, please? Just assume, just assume you have a regular scarf, a regular scarf, and you cut it into, and you fold it into two. Like, like you have an handkerchief. Okay. Do the paper thin again. I think that is yes. I think clear. The paper thin is, is more, it's clearer. more straightforward. It's clearer. Tell me, can you get me another paper? Okay. Please, Auntie Vic, how long do you want the bias to be? Uh, five length? inches is fine. Five inches is fine. So that's the length and then the width you want it to be? Fine. No, no, the width is five inches. The length, 30, 36 is fine. However long the material is. The, the longer, the, the, the better. But it depends on your fabric. Okay, I'm going to do the paper, this illustration again. This is what you have. Even if your your fabric is not, even if your fabric is not uh, square, if it's rectangle, it's fine. But if it's square, it makes it easier. But if it's rectangle, all I want, I'm saying is just from this tip, start folding it to the other tip. Then you see this. If you fold it end to end, this is what you're going to have. 
Can we get it? This is what you are going to have. Uncle will pour you soda. Mm. Are we okay now? Yes, Auntie. Okay, so we've got a fabric now. So what we want to do now is this is what we've got. Just put your scissors here and cut it out. So, the, so that you have only rectangles. Okay. Have you been to the dance? Yes. You no. have only rectangles. Nice I've cut it out. This is what I've for the hair. Yeah. You know, this is like a regular scarf for you. Really? You your bandana yeah. too. Okay. This is what you want. Okay. 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 Can everyone yeah. please? Well, I don't really know no. any good place to run for the oh. start. Sorry, Auntie okay. Vicky. Yeah. Everyone, can you so please so mute uh, yourself? Especially if you have kids in the background. Bodies, like, don't worry, I'll mute them oh, wow. from here. Bodies, I will mute it from here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I would like to. I like to yeah, do that. Yeah, she did a lot of things. Wow, in Bradford. In Bradford, really. Yeah, you know where are you used to be? It's Kezi, I mean Kezi. Okay, cool. I'm muting everybody, and I will mute. Um. Okay. Um. And you've unmuted. Uh, can you mute? Can you unmute? Um. Victoria, please. We need a volume. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, she's still speaking. Yes, I'm doing it. One minute, please. I've just asked her to unmute yourself. Okay. So I now said from here to here, just measure five inches in the middle and cut across. Five inches, oh, five yes. inches in the middle. I'm so confused. Five, here, just measure, take it from the middle, from the middle, here to here, measure five inches, five inches. Then you cut. Just like Can you see? From here to here. Here to here, just measure five inches. Then cut it. If you've measured five inches, just cut. Have we done that now? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Good. Yeah. Goldie, why are you using paper? I, I got so confused. I just said. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure everyone does it so my eyes is on everyone so I can't do two things at the same time I'm watching everybody is there any other person that is not getting it please anyone? signify raise up your confused. hand oh Naomi is confused okay you know what I, Auntie Vicky how about if you place it like the material on the table or the uh, camera thing that would that would be an issue with that okay i'll do something else now let's just carry on this is what we do as time goes on you know we would you can be asked question at the end of it and then we can do it by ourselves in our own time just because of our time obviously we have about 20 minutes about 20 minutes left. We have about 10 minutes left for Auntie Victoria to do this. Okay, can we, can we go over it again, please? Okay, I'll use, I've cut a smaller fabrics now. A smaller fabrics. Maybe that would make us understand a bit. Okay, I mean, can let's see what you've cut. Let's this is what, what we, no, I've this actually done this. I, I'm ready to do the last stage. I've done what she said we should do. Okay, okay. all right. Okay, let me quickly well. explain to them now. Let me quickly okay. explain it. This is your fabric. This is your fabric. Can you all see me? Yes, we can. Okay, now do this with your fabric.
this is your fabric. And I said, fold it into two as if you want to tie a scarf. A scarf, yeah. Uh huh, okay. yeah. So this is what you've got now. You've got this. Then grab your scissors and start cutting from here. In the middle? Yes. Can okay, you see? So basically, can I say something? Can you make a square, a triangle? So what she's saying is make a square, a triangle, and then cut it into two cut it triangles. In the middle. Yes. So cut your square into two triangles. Yeah. Does that help? Because I have yes. to go through all that because some people don't have a, 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 a square fabric with them. But once you have that, once you have your fabric, just fold it in, in the middle like this. It yes. looks like a proper bandana, like this. Then you cut it in the middle. This is what we want. And then when we cut it, we end up with something like this, right? Uh, yes, yes, fantastic. So what you now want to do, when you have that, you now take your tape measure. It's on your neck. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. So you now take your tape measure and just... Remember, this is what we've got. Just from that middle, just middle five inches down. Okay. Don't worry about this, please. Don't worry about this, please. Just from here to here, and just cut your five inches out. Can you see? Yeah, and it's quite clear, yeah. So then cut it out. That is after you have... Okay, so... Having it like this, where do we, where do I put the five inches? Just from the middle, from the middle of that fabric. You mean from here? No, no, from that middle, from here. Okay. From the longer side, from the longer side. From the longer side, okay. Yes, just get the middle down. down like that. You know, get the five. Yes. Okay. Then you cut it out, cut the, the bit cut, down cut. off the material. Mm -hmm. I'm already there. I'm waiting. So this is what you're going to get. Yeah. You're going to get something that looks like this. Like a long stuff that is not yeah. Um, even. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then it must be then it must be from here then. Yes. Like that. Yeah, just just from that place, just cut it up because your it depends on the fabric that we, uh, everybody, you know, some have the people that already have square. They will need to, your desk will not be like yours. This is it. You can see that it's, it's drawing in the middle. It's elastic. I wanted to understand where you, the, the five inches that we're going, because this is five inches, isn't it? No, no, that's centimeter. Inches is on the other side. The big, okay. the big side, the big side is the inches. The big size is five, five, meter, uh, five, five inches. Oh. The big one is five inches, not centimeter. Yeah. It, 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 it's almost like um, the, the length of your ham, uh, your, your, yeah. I think we only have, um... <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, Irene, okay, check, check. Okay, centimeter is, uh, five centimeter is, uh, uh, sorry, five inches is um, 13, 13 centimeters. Five inches is 13, 13 centimeter. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 13. 13. 13, 13. Okay, I got you, I got you now. Okay. So cut that bit away. Aunties, let's move swiftly. Those that do not understand, they'll watch the video afterwards, but I think you've explained this session. Yeah, enough. I got it. I got it, you know. Okay. So we've cut it in the middle. When you cut it in the middle, like this. While auntie is cutting it, can I just suggest something for those of us who do not get it right now? If you just make note of all the things that she's saying, like write it into a pointer, that's what I usually do. And then at the end of this event, you can revisit it. And also feel free to drop your questions as well. She's going to be able to answer it and then you have enough time to do it on your own. So if you're not able to follow on right now, okay? Yeah, that's true. Thank you. I'm trying to cut my out now. Cut it in the middle. When you cut it in the middle, this is what you've got. You are going to get. 
my, this is mine. And I said, when you measure from here to here, you measure five inches so that you got, you have this. This is what I've got now. That's what we are looking for. I, I, I'm there. <laughs> so if, if anybody has got this, please just, let's just know so that we move on. Yeah, I'm there. So I think you can move on. We'll watch the video after for those that cannot catch up with what I don't want doing. to believe that uh, there's nobody that cannot trade there apart from the honorable gentleman. I'm not sure. So if you have traded your needle, just make your knot like three times. Make your knot like three times. It's always better to double the trade. Don't use a single one because you're going to be pulling. So it's better to, to, to make it double. Are we there now? Yeah. Okay, so I've got my own fabric here. So I'm going to fold what I've got into two. But the most important thing is when you fold it into two, when you want to start, the stitching must start from, the stitching must start from the edge. Just focus on the edge. Remember what we said about uh, sewing as being therapeutic, you have to really be focused. Just be very make it very close to make your stitches to be very close to the edge because you're going to you are you are only interested in the edge. So I'm going to start from this place. Can we see now? We are folding everything that we have cut out into into two equal parts, equal parts. Yeah. Okay. So can we start sewing now from the edge? If you see, if you think uh, starting from the edge would be too um, tiny, you can just do it twice. It's just the base, so it's fine. So that's what I've done. Then look at it. I folded my fabric into two, and I want to stay focused on the edge. Just be going in, in, and out, out. Fo focus on the edges only, the folded edges only in out. If you are using a very soft fabric, you can go down a bit so that, because if it's a free fabric, it may, it may come out. In, so the out. space that you're, um, the space for the sewing, does it need to be very wide or close? Uh, like half inch is fine. It doesn't, it does not necessarily, it's a gather stitches, so it doesn't have to be close. Close, okay. It doesn't have to be close, but just make sure that if it's, if there's no, if, if you don't have frills at the edges, Mm -hmm. Make sure you are close to the edges because okay. that's what we need. So I'm going, just keep going in and out, in, out, in, out, in, out. But another thing is if you know that you are finding it difficult to cut on the bias, just cut it straight. Don't worry. Make sure you have 36 inches by, by 10 and fold it into two. That's another way of doing it. Godiva, can you hear me? You are muted. I can hear you. Sorry. Yes, I can hear you. Just, just let them know. If you cannot get the bias one, just okay. cut 36 inches by 10 and fold it into two. That's fine. Okay. Uh, sorry. Cut 36 inches by five. It's fine. Okay. I think at this point, the people that are with you are still following you. The people that are a bit confused like myself, we're going to wait till the end and try this okay, okay. at the end of it. Yeah, I think that's okay. best. If no, because of our time. And okay. just to remind you, we have literally about five to seven more minutes to go. Just keep going, keep going. Keep going, just keep going, keep doing it. You've got this, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, as you can see, keep going. If you have your, if you have, if you can cut 36 by five out, just, just fold it into two and, and do what we are doing. That's fine. Now what you're saying that is even more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave the cutting because- No, what, no leave the cutting. Let's the finish cutting. this stage that we are. We've gone past the cutting now. Let's just focus on the threading and the sewing. I don't think anyone's cutting anymore. 
okay. are sewing. We, we are sewing it. Any other person, if you it does, it's not confusing in any way, please. If you have your square, if you have 36 inches by five, fold it into two and do what we're doing. It doesn't really matter. It's just that when you do this, it's uh, it gives you that ruffle effect. That's all. You know, what I'm saying is that the stage that we are now, people are following this stage, so we shouldn't go back. Maybe you might run no, through. I'm not, I'm not talking to you, but any other person that is still wants that still wants to join. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. But we, I know we, we are following up that we are doing what we're doing. Yeah. We're going in and out. If you if you see that you have a lot on your needle, you can just come out and okay. go in, in and out so that you, you free your hand and be going in and out. Make sure your focus is put your two hands on the two edges so that it doesn't come out. You okay. can see that. Well, Auntie Vicky is going, can I just commend the people that I can see here that are very, very focused? I can see some Naomi, she's like truly focused on it, trying to figure it out, well done girl. Irene, obviously you don't even need a shout out because that's your job. I can, that's see, already I can see stuff. Chima as well. She's very focused. Samira, I've never done this before, to be sincere. So we are only this. So you saw, so you're an expert in this. Okay, I can see Oma Umi. She's like literally, I can see she's struggling, but she's just like, I'm gonna get you this. Well done, sis. Well done, sis. Okay, shout out to everyone that's doing it. Shout out to people that are not on camera as well that are doing it. Grace, I can see you as well. Uzi, I can see you as well. Well done. Okay, I'm all right. Good. All right, we, we almost have done? five more minutes to go because I know we're going to have loads of questions at the end of this. So we, we have, have extra minutes, please. At the end of it, you can just cut it off. I'm, I'm done now. I've got this at the end. So I'm going to cut it off because I don't need it. I don't need this. If you have this left, just cut it off and come out. Is everyone out now? Me, I'm out. You take pictures. You could make the screen like um, uh, not whole screen. It's like. Um, Can everyone see me now? Thanks. Yeah. Let me shut the screen. Can everyone see me now? Yeah. Yeah. So you can use your hand to spread it out. Spread it out, then we'll take it off from there. Spread it out, not too wide. The spreading out depends on you, actually. If you want it to be, it, it, that would determine how how wide you want it to be or how you want it to be close. So this is what I've got. Any other person there? I can assure you it is very easy. It is very, very easy. Sorry, just to clarify. So when we reach the end, we just scrunch it, pull the, the thread to scrunch it to make- Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to show you that now, but if you have any fabric that is um, excess, you can trim it off. So this is what you're going to have, but whatever, well, if you want to scrunch it now, it now depends on what you want. Because if I want something on my bag or on my hat or on my um, headband, I may not want it to be too big. I may want, if I want it as a brooch, I may, I may want it to be small. So that's where the scrunching, the scrunches will come in because if you want it to be, just something very bogus on the black dress, uh, black gown, black uh, dress. It can be bold. So, but if you want, just want something little, then you can pull it very tight and roll it. So, which we're going to do now. So, I'm, I'm just waiting for maybe one or two people to finish this, so that we show you the scrunching. Okay, I think I'm, I'm done. Now. Yeah. Can you spread it out a bit, but be careful with your threads because if it falls off, then you have to start all over again. Okay, okay, yeah. Who else? Okay, yeah, so what you, you just hold, hold that bit where you started from. This is where I started from. Where you started from, just turn it this way, then you start rolling it in. 
your focus is on the base. Just be putting it on each other and coming. Okay. Can you see it now? So just be going round, round. While you're going round, make sure you're covering the, the base. Turn it to the back. Turn it to the back. As you're going, be flattening, flattening it. Just make sure that that base is going under. The edges that you stitched, make sure it's going under as you're turning it. Can you see? I'm turning it, but it has to go under. It has to go under. As I'm turning it, I'm hiding the, the edges that I stitched under. And this is what I've got. This is mine. Any other person? Like this? I'm not sure. Let me see. I don't know. Yeah, I think can I you like to show me? Yeah, yeah. You know what you do? Pull your, what's, what's the length of your fabric? Your fabric seems small. Pull it a bit so that it will, it will have that scrunchy effect. Except mm. if your fabric is really, really small. Is this if your fabric long? is not small. This is how long mine is. Ah, okay, that's right. But don't worry. Make it a bit tight. As in when you're pulling it, pull it, pull it more. More, yeah. Okay. Any other person? Irene, where's yours? Who else has got a scrunchie? Okay, I can see Meg. I think I do have a scrunchie. Too. Okay, I see Meg yes. as well. Auntie, well, can you Meg, see scrunchie? Meg, what you can do is open it out. Open it, flatten it. As you're, as you're turning it, be flattening it out. Not too much, so that you still have that uh, ruffle effect at the scrunchie. Okay, who else has got a scrunchie? Omo Umi, do you have your scrunchie? Okay, can you see Omo Umi's one? I think she's struggling to put it together. Can you see Omo Umi, Auntie Vicky? Uh, you need to spotlight her, I can't see her. She is on right now. Really? Yeah. I can only see you. I've just added on the pin. Um, the same way I did the rest of the people that you've just seen now, the same way I've just done her. You can't see her? No. Um, okay, let me see. Can you see Chima right now? Can we see your scrunchie? Can you see Chima, Chima scrunchie? No. No? Okay. Let me go to Gary's view then. Oh, yeah, put it on gallery because you were able to see I'm, Margaret and Naomi just a minute ago. I'm only, you've only spotlighted my seven. Oh, you. that's because they, they removed it. Okay, if, if I click on your name, can you unmute yourself so that she can then see you then you're speaking at the time. So okay. right now, Samuela, I, that's Shima, more like you. Shima, can you unmute yourself so that she can see your scrunchie and help yes, you? Yes, Samira, that's, that's, that's looking more like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not okay. the fabric is more, but it's fine. Okay, Chima. Okay, that's Chima. Chima, can you see Chima? She is on. Chima, can you yeah. say something? Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to piece this together. Okay, I'm coming. Can you see her? I can't see her. Okay, all right. How about Omomi? Omomi, can you unmute yourself and say something? All right, can you see your mom is scrunchy? Uh, this is what I've got. My fabric seems very soft, so it's very fluffy. Yeah, but you need to pull it more. Pull it more. Pull it more, okay. All right, that's a mommy. Okay, who else needs help? We should we go back to? Okay. Let's get back to Chima. Did you see Chima eventually? Um, not no 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 I didn't see right. her. Tima, can you speak? Yeah. Mine, mine's okay. a bit. Can you show me now? Oh, okay, she's done again. Among me, you need to pull it tight. Then when you pull it tight, then yeah, well, not so bad. <laughs> you need to pull. It. Yeah, you you know you know what happened to yours among me yeah. when you when. You, when you when you have your needles uh, you do needles and thread in, okay. you're supposed to pull it before you start turning it. Pull it so that you have that crunchy fin. Yeah, okay. pull it, pull it, pull it. Where's where's your needle? 
here. Yeah, so yeah, you now need to start turning it around. Start okay. turning it around from the beginning to the end. Just be turning it around. Okay, Auntie Vicky, I'm gonna come in right now because of our time. We okay. literally just have 10 minutes to the end of the show. And I know we okay. still have a bit to do. So while you're yeah. trying to, let, I'll just gonna give you another five minutes for them to try and finish that. Yeah. So while you're doing that, we're just gonna get into a little bit of something else because of our time. And I know okay. Irene is already pinching. Let me just let them know that. Okay, let me just quickly show them. One second, please. If you, okay. you know, we started with, you know, we all started with this. Yes. So what I said is when you finish, just pull it. Pull it tight. When you pull it tight, this is what you're going to get. You can see that it's small. So what you now want to do is you spread it out a bit. When you spread it out a bit, you now start from that edge that we stitched, just be turning it slow, slowly and be winding it around each other on top of, let it be going under. As we're turning it, let it be going under. You can see that as I'm turning it, it's going under it. Yes. You can see that it looks like a perfect rose now. It will have to just be as if you're going around a circle. So, but from that base, just be turning it around. Mm -hmm. Turning it around, then you have your perfect. That's what I did. Okay. Mm. All right. So, can I come in here? Yes, you can come in. Okay, all right. So, we have three more minutes. Three more minutes. I know we're not going to try and finish. We, we can't finish this. Like I said, the whole purpose of this is not for us to literally try to do this and get it, like, you know, straight away because of the time limits that we have as well. The purpose of it is for you to take this away at the end of this and be able to, like, apply what she's taught us and be able to do it. I literally have not touched mine, not because I'm not trying to. But because I got confused and I thought this would look better as a scarf. So right now it's going to stay as a scarf and I'm going to try it later on. So for those of us that are still struggling to get it, don't worry. You're going to have the step by step, which I think Auntie Victoria will be kind enough to put in the chat box or put in the group chat. Actually, we're going to do the step by step and then she'll be able to tell you truly. I think she's also going to leave her details if anyone wants to contact her she will be able to do that for you so that you'll be able to finish it. Because of our time, we won't be able to obviously get into like, you know, everyone trying to perfect it. So I think where we have right now is a very perfect place to stop. And when I come back to you, Auntie Victoria, I'm just gonna have a closing remark and for you to show us the final stage of it. But for okay. right now, can I just say um, a very big thank you once again to our sponsor for this event. Like I said, this is a mental resilience workshop that has been put together and that has been funded. We have 12 sections of this event. Today is our third event. We have eight more coming up. Just to put that in your cal um, calendar, in your diary, this is going to be happening every two weeks. So today is the second. Our next date for our next event is going to be on the 16th. So it's going to be another Friday on the 16th of April. Please mark that in your calendar. That is the date for our next event. And it's going to be another mental resilience workshop. Once again, a very big thank you to our sponsor. We have the Big Lottery Fund, which is an award for all grant. We have the Near Neighborhood Community Grant. And we have the VCS Alliance, which is the ABCD Small Grant. All three of them have sponsored us for this mental resilience workshop for the 12 of them that we're doing. Once again, if you are, you know, you know anybody at all that needs um, a food package, which is what Ebony Ambassador is doing, sending out food to the um, vulnerable and the people that need it. If you know anyone that needs a care package or a food package, we would package it and we send it over to them. So if you know any family at all that might benefit from this, please feel free to leave the details and then um, how to get in touch with them and we'll be able to share that to them. If you also want us to add you, for those people who are just joining us, to the WhatsApp group, we have a WhatsApp group page, which is called the Ebonite, um, Distinguished Ebonite. 
This is another one off of this workshop where we're going to put all the details of all, all the events and everything that we're going to be doing in between so, um, each event. So if you'll be interested in joining the group, please leave your contact details and Irene will add you to the workshop and to the group as well. And Irene is going to tell us a little bit more about the next um, workshop mm -hmm. date. And I think at this point, I can go back to Auntie Victoria. I can see she's tying the gilly right now. Okay, I think she's trying to surprise us with this one. So, Auntie Vicky, you have two minutes to close off this section. Um, over to you. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that is beautiful. I'm just trying to tell us that if you have this, there's another way. I mean, you can put this on the black dress and here you go. So what I've done now is that with the one that we started with, you yeah. only close it with your needle. Mm. You've got this already. Just put it in from the back and just ensure you can do that like two, three times and make your knot. Once you are done, it's not up to you to do whatever you like with it. Like mine, sometimes what I do is I just look for, although this brooch is too big, but I can put a smaller one there. Just I use this as a, a kind of embellishment. One second. Auntie Victoria, can you see what I've done with my own? I didn't manage to do a bow, but well I managed done. to style it up. What you do, do you think? <laughs> so now, for those so of you that are on this platform, like myself, that did not get to the bow, look what you can do with your amazing scarf. You can style it up, you know, summertime is coming around the corner, add a bit of color. Be mine. Add a splash of color. We finish this. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Okay, let's spotlight. Yeah. Very well quickly, done. Well, we'll let's spotlight the people that have done it. Okay, Omo, well, we have you. Can you say something so that you can be shown on the screen? Yeah, well done. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I'm sorry. I want it's everyone to see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. All right. yes. I you know I said this. You can put a big button there, a smaller brooch or anything. It's perfect. You can put it on a bag. You can put it on a shoe. You can do this. You can see Lady Prosper what she's done. I know I said in the beginning, this is just for fun, but I lied. Um, I am actually going to give a prize to the best bow. So everyone can see. Um, um, mommy, can you say something? Because I want everyone to see because we're all going to judge. Here's my bow. So that's what well Amomi has done. Can everyone see yeah, her? Well done. Well done, Amomi. Okay, now I'm going well to done. take you to Chima. Chima, let's see your bow. Can you unmute yourself? Amomi, mute yourself so that Chima can be. Unmute yourself, Chima. Can you say something so everyone can see you? Hi, everyone. Let's see your bow. Okay, this is I'm Chima's bow. Well done. <laughs> That looks like a knot, but that's not <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, all right. Well done. Okay, well done. All right, let's go to Meg. Meg, let's see your bow. Ooh, okay. Unmute yourself. Hello, everyone. Okay. Okay. That's I'm getting there. I'm getting okay, there. <laughs> right. All right, so that's three. Okay, let's go to the next person. Okay, Naomi, let's see yours. Let's see Naomi's. Oh, that is telling me something. It's okay. Just give me. Oh, that is pretty. <laughs> what is that? A flower? <laughs> I discuss. No, that's actually pretty. Unmute okay, yourself, can Naomi. Can you? Naomi, unmute can yourself. We? They can't see you. Unmute yourself so everyone can see you. Uh, sorry. Okay, yeah. can everyone see Naomi's bow? Come on, show us again. Can oh, everyone gosh. see Naomi's? <laughs> Show us, come on. There it is. Hold it together. That's what I'm watching. Hold it together. Okay, well okay. done. Okay, let me Thank see. You. Who else? Who else? Can we see my lady now? Samira. Let's see Samira. Hi. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, okay, I think we have a clear winner. Like, I think no. it's the fabric that's making it look pretty, but I don't know. But that's Ankara. beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Did you use Ankara? Is that Ankara? Yeah, yeah. Ankara. Ankara is a hard material. That's why it's a book. But I have to give it to you. know, that's really pretty. What, what do you guys think? I think Samira is the clear winner of that one. Is there anyone else I'm missing out? I really wow, look at Jenny. 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 Uh, yeah. Let's see. Where is Jenny? Uh, Jenny, unmute yourself and just say hello. Hello. 
Hello. Wow. Jenny, well done. Well done. Jenny, Jenny. Ah. Jenny, 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 come in. Okay. I ah. She used her as a brooch. The brooch. Oh, yes, okay. that's oh, fine. Oh, sorry. Okay. Can you, yes, can you say easy. something? That's oh, wow. Okay. Nah. Samira, yeah. that is, no, you have a contender, Samira. That is now a competition for you. This is now between Samira and Jenny. Okay. And has is staying. We don't even have yeah, to. Yeah, I think um, I haven't finished mine. So I think uh, Jenny sh should take oh, that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, Irene, let's see yours just for the sake of it, but you're not part of this conversation. Yeah, actually, mine, was, mine is really nice because it's quite big. I don't know if you uh, can see it. No, we cannot see. That's just a, we're just holding <laughs> the scarf together. That is not it. That is not what she showed us. Okay, is that everybody? That's okay. everybody, right? I'm not seeing it properly. What okay, I think Janet and Samira have to get that that this um category. I think they both did really well. So can we give Bodica. a round of applause? Yes. Bodica, please. Um, can we all see this, please? Okay, back to you. This is another thing you can do. This is yeah. with headband and neck yeah. piece. Wow. It's the same thing. So neck band and oh, so this can be like a fascinator and okay. can we see that? Yeah, yeah, I think everyone see that. Okay, yeah. All mm. right, like I said earlier, guys, if you did not manage to understand everything she done today because of our time, this is a good thing about something like this. You can do it in your own spare time. At least you have an idea of it. So next time you do it, you have a bit more time. And then also you can try and follow the step a little bit more. You know what you've done wrong now because she's corrected us while we're doing it. You can try and do it a little bit better. And also she's going to leave her details. So if you want to attempt to do this after the event, please do send her a message. She will be happy to um, walk you and talk you through it. So if anyone is interested to do it, feel free to do it. And on our next workshop, you can show us what you've achieved between now and then. I think that would be great to know that. We did not just stop here. Every one of us actually took it back home and we actually worked on it. So before we close for the day and announce the winners and the prizes, Irene, I'm going to pass it over to you for the final speech. Okay, we've come to the end of today's session. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that have stayed. Looking at the people that are here, I think it's only one person or two that left the um, Zoom session. That means we all stayed till the end. Yeah. A big thank you to everyone once again. And well, um, I want to say thank you to Goldie for um, hosting this event, to, the, to my facilitator, um, Dewey's Creation, and to Victoria, I want to say thank you. And also, I want to say thank you to our sponsors. This wouldn't have been possible without them. The Big Lottery Fund, um, near neighborhood and also um, ABC Small Grant. I don't know if the representative from um, the near neighborhood is here. If she's here, I would like to give her the opportunity to say something to people that are here because she might have logged in with a name that I'm not familiar with. Please, if you are here, you can unmute yourself and just say hello to us. And if there's any word that you want us to take home today, please feel free to do that. So I will hold on for a minute to just see if the representative from the near neighborhood is on the platform. She actually emailed me that she'll be here today. Okay, while you're waiting for that, can I go over and announce our winners? Just yes, please. Maybe. Okay. All right. So guys, as I said earlier, we had two games and we had two winners. And then we also have this last bit of the workshop and we've obviously chosen two winners for the amazing work that you did that doesn't mean like you who did not do amazing you who did well like i said there's some of us that have experience previously i have experience i actually saw as a tailor but i just couldn't like get myself to figure out what she was saying i was so confused so no judgment here but for those people who obviously make the effort and that actually did really well so well done to Samira and Jenny. You guys won this category. I know I said we weren't going to have that, but I changed my mind because I'm the host. I'm allowed to do that. So well done, Samira and Jenny. So for our first two winners, Samira, that means you actually won twice today, right? So you have to get the biggest prize. So our first winner among me, your prize is you have won a customized T-shirt Courtesy of Dewey's creation. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. 
So as you can see, Dewey's right now, Auntie Victoria, she's wearing a t-shirt where she's customized. So you have won a t-shirt and you can tell her what you want to be customized on it. But what she's told me that I have to make sure I tell the winner is you have to make sure not only do you just get a t-shirt and just put in your wardrobe, you have to wear it and you have to sell her t-shirt, meaning you have to promote it, be proud of it and wear it. And I think it's going to a very amazing person because Amomi is actually an event planner and a balloon decorator. So what I think would be great is for her to actually have a customized t-shirt to her business so that she can wear it every time she goes to decorate and to plan an event. And then that way she is promoting Dewey's um, creation. What do we think about that? Right? That's amazing, right? So let me just once again promote my sister. This is actually my sister, Omaomi. She is my oldest sister. She is a doctor by career and she um, recently just started a business. She is an event planner and a balloon decorator. So if anyone has an event coming up, you know, you want an event planner or you want a balloon decorator, please reach out to my sister and support her. She's very amazing. She has amazing work that she does as well. So if you want to see some of our work, please feel free to contact her. Use the comment section, guys. Let's interact. So for anyone that has events coming up, and she will give you a discount as well. So just say go that you get 50% discount from me, okay? All right, say some more. Yeah? So well done. Congratulations. You've won a customized T-shirt from Jewish Creation. Thank you. Okay, our second winner was Samira. I'm going to come back to you. We have Jenny who won the creativity side. Jenny, you have won a 10 pound voucher. A 10 pound voucher, which Irene is going to send to you and you can use that to shop. I believe she's going to tell you where the voucher is coming from. So you can use that to shop. Um, Oma Umi, someone just said, can you write your socials in the um, comment section? So please write your Insta and social media so that they can contact you, okay? And our big winner for tonight, Samira. Where is Samira? Where is Samira? Where is Samira? Where is Samira? Yeah. So you won big, got two winners. So you have won a three-hour sewing lesson. I don't see this. No, because I'm, I'm about to take it back. back. Should I take it back? <laughs> You've won a three-hour sewing lesson from Irene herself. So you're going to have a three-hour one-to-one intense sewing class. Oh, fantastic. So this fantastic. class, you'll be able to make either a dress or a headline skirt or something, but you'll be able to actually make something that you can wear. And oh, I think wonderful. that's going to come in handy because you know why I said that, right? Yeah. That's yeah, going to yeah. come in handy. You need that lesson. Yeah, so I'm yeah, sure yeah. all the other contestants right now are getting jealous, but that's going <laughs> to come in handy. By the way, Samira is one of our contestants for the Miss Ebony Ambassadors 2021. And we also have a few of them on here. I'm going to go through the links very quickly. We have Chima as well. She is one of our contestants. Can you please give her a round of applause? That's Chima right there. We have Margaret as well. Hi, Margaret to Daisy. She's one of our contestants as well. Okay. Um, who else do we have? We have, I believe we saw Janet. We have Janet. She's not on video, but we have Janet on here as well. She's one of our contestants. Okay. Did I miss anyone else? I believe it's just the four of you guys that are here today, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. So well done, guys. I'm going to put it in the comment section and tell you what you want. Once again, well done to our winners, Amomi, Jenny, and Samira. You all did amazing today. Well done, guys, for participating. Well done for learning a new skill. Like I said, as fun as this is, we have to remember the reason why we actually set up to do this. The reason why we set up to do this, like we all said, every one of us, I'm sure, at one point in our life, we've experienced some sort of mental you know, either depression, anxiety, you know, anything at all that's got to do with mental health. And in the last year, we all know it hasn't been easy. A lot of people have, you know, literally feel like their world has been turned upside down. So the whole purpose of this is just to be able to say to you, there are other ways that you can channel yourself, your energy, so that whenever you feel low, whenever you're not at your best, you don't just sit in your thought. Because what I've noticed is every time you feel, you know, some sort of depression or you feel down and you just sit in your thought, it only gets worse. 
But when you just say to yourself, let me just get up, even if it's just let me get up and have a shower, let me get up and just get dressed for no reason. There's something that that does to you. So that's the reason why we've set up this mental resilience workshop. And like I said, this right now, I don't want any one of us to end here today. I want you to go back and basically you know, try and use what you've acquired today, the skill that you've acquired today, try and learn something else. I'm sure today we've learned to make a bowl. By the time you go back and you know how to handle the thread and that, the next thing you might be able to sew yourself, you know, like a scarf or something like that. You know, it's just something that you can do just to help your mental health, to make you feel better. And also just to make you feel like, you know, you're actually doing something for yourself that makes you feel good. So thank you once again, guys, for this um, amazing day. It's been great. It's been amazing. I uh, really enjoy spending time with you guys and learning so much. Thank you to our amazing facilitator, Auntie Victoria, Dewey's Creation. Can we give her another round of applause, please? Thank you very much. Thank you to our amazing CEO, our mama, Irene, everybody, honey. Thank you very much for putting this together once again. Thank you to everybody that have attended today. We have quite a lot of people that have attended today and that's actually quite amazing. So I'm going to leave the final word to um, Irene. And do you want and a good picture? Want picture? Okay, thank yeah, you so. for uh, saying that, please. Um, for those that are comfortable with your camera, please can you turn your camera on for just two minutes? We just need a picture for those that attended the session today. Please, just for a minute or so, please turn on your camera. And we just do the picture uh, session. Once um, camera won't turn on. For some reason, it won't let me turn on. It says the host is um, turn my camera off. Did you say your camera was turned off by the host? Yeah. Seriously? I did. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That must be a mistake. <laughs> you turned that camera off. She didn't want to see your face. I know. She didn't want to see your face. <laughs> okay, I've asked you to turn on your camera. I don't know how that happened. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you all for turning on your camera. We Can we just say cheese oh, yeah. while she takes the picture? Can we say ebony instead? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, one, two, three, go. Ebony. ebony. Now you say ebony. <laughs> Done, done. Thank you. You're beautiful. Okay, great. Thank you Thank so you much. Again. <laughs> I appreciate everyone. I'm just going to call you by your name just to appreciate you. Thank you, Maureen. We appreciate you. We see you. That is Irene, our CEO's um, elder sister. She is a very important part of this team and she's one of our backbones. So thank you very much, Maureen, for attending. Thank you once again, Auntie Vicky, our facilitator. Naomi, I did miss out Naomi when I was calling the contestant, did I? Um, Hi, Naomi. Um, Naomi is also one of our contestants as well. Yes, I think I missed you out earlier. Naomi is one of our contestants for Miss Ebony Ambassador 2021. So once again, let me just talk very quickly about that for those of us who don't know. Miss Ebony Ambassador and um, beauty, not beauty, a pageant, skill and beauty pageant, um, which has been on for six years. This is our sixth year. And this year we're doing it bigger than ever, even though we're still in a pandemic, but we're going to make the best of it. So we are currently right now in our, um, we have a final contestant and we are right now in our stages of the workshop for the contestants. So if you'd like to know more about the workshop, the contestant and everything that they're doing before the final date, and um, please feel free to follow Miss Aboni on all the social media platform. And the event, I believe is gonna be on the 31st of July, 2021, right Irene? You're right. Yes. So that is a big day for the Miss Ebony pageant. Miss Ebony Ambassador 2021 pageant. Please save the date. That will be the 31st of August. Oh, 31st of July. I'm sorry, it's my birthday. I just can't wait. 31st of July, 2021. So thank you once again. Let me just go through the field. Um, James Field, thank you very much for being part of this tonight. Thank you. Omaomi, thank you. Auntie Victoria, we have Chilezo, thank you very much. Antonia, BC, thank you. Pastor Joyce, thank you. Samira, thank you. Chima, thank you. Grace, thank you. Margaret, thank you. Kezi, thank you. Esther, our project management, live improvement consultant, thank you very much. 
Uzi, thank you. Jenny, thank you. Rachel, thank you. Andrew, who is also one of our team member, our backbone and their husband to Maureen. Thank you very much for being here as well. We appreciate you. Julius, thank you. Bubu, thank you. Janet, thank you. Um, okay. Blessing, thank you. Nas, Tessie, thank you. Ruti, thank you. Maria, thank you. Wow, Irene, we really do have a lot of people on the platform today. Okay, I think that's it. Like I said, guys, this is the end of the workshop and the end of the event. But as always, we always want people to interact at the end of it. So if you're not in a rush and you have some time, please stay, um, stay behind for another 10 to 15 minutes. Just interact with each other. And if you have anything at all that you want to say, we're going to give you the floor to talk about it. But this is the end of the workshop. So thank you once again for attending this um, section of the mental resilience workshop which is target as benefit of crafting thank you once again i have been your host goldiva it's been an amazing night thank you and we'll see you guys on our next workshop have a good night everyone a quick one goldie can you just go to the chat if there's anything that they are drawing our attention to before we call it a day once again i want to say thank you for everyone that is on the platform um the support that you guys give me keeps me going I appreciate everyone here. I can't mention your names, but thank you all for coming on board. And please invite someone for the next session. And um, Godiva talked about a platform we created on WhatsApp called Distinguished Ebonites. The platform is also to help people mental well being. So we do a lot of um, discussion there, something like that will uplift your spirit, something that will make you feel better than you were before. A lot of things like fun um, games, there are exercises that we do. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but if it's something you would like to be part of, please put your phone number in the uh, message uh, box. So we'll get to add it to the uh, WhatsApp group. Um, I look forward to our next discussion there. It's going to be very, very interesting. Once again, I want to say thank you to our funders, the Big Lottery Fund, uh, Near Neighborhood, and ABC Small Grant. We appreciate you all for all you do in the community. Um, yeah, that's it from me. God, is there anything on the chat? Oh, um, okay. I literally just seen something. Um, Grace just said she's not happy because I am always missing her. So I believe I have done something. I've missed out Grace. Okay, sorry, Grace is one of the contestants. Grace. Sorry, she's one of the contestants. Is she? Okay. Yeah. Listen, Grace, I haven't met you. That's the problem. You need to come and meet me personally. Until you meet me personally, I think we're going to have this problem, okay? <laughs> if you don't want us to have this problem, come and meet me personally. Don't Where's be Grace? I'm joking. Where is Grace? <laughs> Let me shout out to Grace. Grace, <laughs> and, Grace is really uh, upset. The way she wrote me, she's like, I, I am not happy. Yeah. You are always missing me out. She I've been, been, I've I've been, been to you now. Grace, come on camera. Listen, she 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 you need to be outspoken, Grace. Don't be buried in the in the in the background, girl. Speak up. See, Grace did not say you miss me out. She said you are always <laughs> missing me out. So she has me for Sorry, mine. I have been doing it to her. Back. So could I just ask, did she do any crap? Yeah. You show us what you've done. Show us. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Grace? But to be honest, I can't even see her on here. I've been high, you know. I What's her, her name? Grace. Or oh, like Grace. Okay, okay, let me yeah. see. Is she on video? I'll, no. I'll, yeah. Okay, Grace. So this is yes, your face. I'm on video. So you're beefing me, Abby. I'm sorry, honestly, that was an honest you. mistake. That was an honest mistake. I know you went around for the. You didn't meeting. see my craft, and I was the first to finish, and it was nice. You know, I, I think I did. My it. I, think I did it. I think I did it on purpose. I just ignored you on purpose. I think yeah, that's why. Right. Now the truth is coming out. I did it on purpose. That's how she now. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm Please show us your work. What what you've done? Then show us what you did. Sorry, show us what you did. <laughs> I think she's frozen. Okay, why would you? And a quick one. Thing? Sorry, Goldie. Yeah, Can it's, she... just, it's just a rose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you show us what you did, Grace? And yeah, let me go get it. The the faking downstairs. <laughs> hey, who is they? <laughs> who is they? No, please get it. We would like to see it, please. Yeah, please go get, get it. it. Like and a quick it. one for those that have done the rose. It was a rose. Let me. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll wait for you to get it. Uh, please, for those that have done the rose um, exercise or the flower, please take a picture and send to my WhatsApp. I know we, most of us here have got my WhatsApp It'll number. It'll be nice, actually. Yeah, we would like to see what you've yeah. done. Please, and feedbacks, please. Feedbacks. Well, yeah. feedbacks. And like I said, Auntie Can Victoria is open to anyone that wants oh, to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see Grace's self thingy? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. You know what? I deserve the comments that you wrote. I'm always meeting you out. I deserve that. <laughs> Uh, uh, it has to be very nice. So we owe you a gift. I owe you a gift, a personal one gift, okay? I will send you a personal <laughs> gift. Just to make it's up right. for it, because I know I have offended you. So I need to ask for your forgiveness. I'll send you a personal gift, okay? So can we give Grace a round of applause? I think she did well with that. Well done, Grace. Well done. Last oh, one from Angela before we call it a day. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what can Auntie I say? Gloria? Okay. Well. Um, I know there's a lot going on now, but all I want to say is get a grip on yourself. It's not the end of the world. The world is in our hand to just do what is best, what we think is best to do. And you are in control of your <laughs> happiness. Then one more thing, there's something about uh, that craft, crafting does. You know, when it comes, um, they call it me. You know, it's, 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 it's like a, a kind of expression of happiness. So when, when, when you're doing something, sewing, sewing or crafting increase, increases dopamine in the brain. And this makes you feel more positive about life generally. So go any length, do whatever it takes to make yourself happy so that you increase your dopamine level in the brain and get going. That's it. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, thank you yeah. for coming on board. We appreciate you. Um, for those that don't know her, she's been with me from the one where I am today, the support, the advice, everything that she has done has kept me going. Once again, I want to say thank you, Auntie Victoria, for all you have been doing. She's very, very passionate about empowering young people. Anytime you call her, she will be like, she's always there. Anything craft, anything skill. It's not just this uh, rose, she can do a lot. What she's wearing, her shirt, she made it. She's into rhinestone. She could do a lot with her hands. If I, Sometimes I said I'm blessed, but sometimes I cannot compare the kind of uh, work that she can do uh, to mine. Once again, I want to say thank you for all you have been doing for this organization. And to everyone that have supported us, truly I, I'm kind of building a, a new network a lot of people on this platform, they don't even know where Ebony started from, but they just jumped into the vision and they want to run with it. I want to say thank you all. We appreciate you. And we look forward to seeing you on the next event. That's in two weeks time, not this Friday, then following Friday. So we can all say bye, Gordy. Your last word, I want to say bye to everyone. Bye. Okay, yeah. So thank you, guys. Platform. I have just left the, um, in the comment section, I've just left all the winners and what you've won, just in case you didn't catch that. So all of the winners and what you guys have won is on the um, comment section. So just feel free to read through that. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Like I said, if you're not in a rush, feel free to stay behind and just, you know, chat it up. So, but for those of us who are doing Thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank it's you, amazing. James. Thank you, Naomi. So Thank you, Meg. Thank you, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. If you're not going, feel free to stay. <laughs> <laughs> is it party time? Yes, it is. <laughs> but you said we can't play the music. <laughs> we can't do uh, unless we want to clap. Hey, we, we, we can sing. Now, can we sing? It's Good Friday. Let's do praise and worship. <laughs> We should. It's good Friday. Thank no? you, Godiva. Thank you. Was that not a good idea? No? I'd love to stay, but I have to go, guys. Thank you for having me. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Okay. <laughs> right. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It was an amazing time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Jeff, thank you so like, much. You have something to say. Oh, thank you, Meg. Sorry. Thank you bye. so much, ladies. Bye. 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 See you bye. Next time. bye, everybody. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye, Naomi. Bye, bye. girl. James, bye. I think you might have something to say. You've been patiently sitting all night. Yeah, I've just it's just been great uh, getting involved in this group. See That's what it's it. all about. 
I hope you didn't feel too left out because it was all female and you know. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. Right. You really enjoyed it. Yeah, really. Have. It's been great watching it. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Do you Can think I you do? might make an attempt on me, maybe making the little flower thing? <laughs> <laughs> you might, it would be nice for you to use what do you call that the pocket square or the little corsage that you put okay, on your suit fine. I think you can make one of those I'll speak to you later but thank god that you know. took control of that uh, incident I'd like to try a bandana I yourself. <laughs> I've never worn a bandana I'd like to try a bandana sometime yeah, that's something <laughs> so I think you can you can definitely try that. At least you know what you need. So, and if you see any, um, and Jay, if you try that, I can customize it for you. I'll just just send me an image. I'll put it for you. I'll know that this is just for okay. you. Yeah. Ooh, look at that! That's yeah. nice. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's great. Great. Oh. Send me any image. I'll put it for you and send it to you. Cool. That's great. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay, and James is our new office administrator for those that wow. don't know who he is. Wow. Yeah, just, okay. That's why he's on the platform. Office and it's not only him. We have Chill is a gentleman. We have Andrew here. He's a gentleman. So for all the gentlemen that have joined us today, we want to say thank you. We appreciate you all. Nas, can you unmute yourself and say something? <laughs> Nas, really. good evening, everybody. I mean, uh -huh. I'm tired. Nas is always here, but very low key. So I remember her being here two weeks, and two weeks ago as well. Yeah, I've been listening. I've been listening, but I'm just, I'm just tired. Oh, well, done. thank you for joining us, even though you're tired. Right, we are thank busy. you. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Can I, can I ask Thanks, one everyone. question, please, before we go? Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, Auntie Vicky, please. I have one question for you. Okay. So, um, this if we if we want to do something, for instance, like a hair packer with this okay. style of turtles, instead of using a thread, can I use something like um something like an elastic? So when it opens, opens up, I can use it to pack the hair. So it it has a hair packer and a rose, the same color. Is it possible? Is it yes, you can actually do that. Sewing oh. like an elastic. Yes, on yes that the one we just use the thread to sew it. Yes, yes, you can you can do that round. You cut it round, put it on each other, and, and just turn it out. It, it's still the same. It's only that with that one because you need a more secure stitches. Uh, uh, something more secured, so you can use um a a, a, a back stitch for that one. That one will put together. I can send you a video link on how to get that done. Um, Okay. But it's, it's straightforward. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a great idea. It's brilliant. You just put it inside. You can put it inside and, and just tie it so you hold it. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I enjoyed the session. I'm going to do for my all my girls. So we we'll wear the same thing on Sunday. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. What's yes, <laughs> going all out? That's good. That's that. Make sure you show us. Send us a picture of whatever you make. Let, so let us much. see. Okay. All Thank right. You. I'll send it. I'll send it. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Okay. Who else do we still have? Hello. Bye. 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 Oh, hi, Chima. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Bye oh, Chima. I'm going to go now. Thanks. God, you said your birthday was in August. Can I ask what day? 21st. Oh, because mine is 22nd. So, oh, oh, that's that's my birthday. Birthday. oh okay. We're actually, actually my daughter's birthday. Wow, that's we are crazy, having a party it? together, oh, okay? Birthday. Listen, by that yeah. time, lockdown will be over. I will yeah. be in every party possible. So we're doing of a party. Of course. Of course, I'm down. Oh, so yeah, we got a party. I think you have to have any party to plan in August. Yeah. <laughs> it's been long. We are equal to the task. Don't worry. Bring it on. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so awesome. much. This was really helpful. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did, absolutely. Oh, okay, Thank cool. you, everyone. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, I appreciate well, we still have here. We have Bubu. Do you know who Bubu is, um, Irene? Let me see. Can I have Auntie, Auntie Vic? Can you come on camera, please? Oh, okay. Auntie Vic, please. I want her to talk. Okay. I can see. I want to give her a, a nice snack. And to say something, I decided not to give us the um, <laughs> what do you normal? What that was that thing that you normally do every now and then? 
that will stretch our hands and legs and dance and dance and dance. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I think I can see your camera. I want to take a picture. Okay. Okay. Is it okay? Because there are two of them here. Okay, let me try the this. You're talking with you, you're not on camera. The one she's talking with should come and discuss. Yes, please hold your hold your thing you were holding. Hold everything, the, the rose and everything. Anything you can okay. grab, just hold yeah. it. Yeah. And then and you get to talk here, so you'll be the one on my screen. Okay. My lady and my lady. Please, my DV yeah. stations must be. Yeah. Yes, right, so give us your best angle, sister. Sweet 16. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> done, done, done. Thank you so much. So done. Um, sure? um, do I need to talk? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I've already taken you one or two, but you can talk more love. Don't say you want picture. Which one is why we need to talk? <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk now, Irene, because you're not in the center now. Okay. I'm Irene. 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 That's it. That's it. Who's Irene? Irene. I'm Irene. Irene. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking it. I'm taking three. I'll send them now. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank oh. you. How my about my, my partner is business. partner. My partner in business. BC, can you say anything before you leave us? <laughs> hey, wonderful oh. session. Wonderful session. I love that. Auntie Vicky, I will need a personal. I will need a personal coaching. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, are, you know you are you are my boss now. Anything, <laughs> anything. The person I put you on making those flowers, but they're really beautiful. I love the way they, you know the quick way of just making it and everything. It's just awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well done, ladies. Well done, Goldiba. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing, Auntie. amazing thank hosting. Oh, ah, look you. at Esther. Thank Esther you. smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Esther. <laughs> and um, yeah, good to meet you, James. <laughs> well done. All right. Take care. Have a good evening. Irene, well done. Good to meet you too. Thanks. Yeah. She's on the phone. Busy woman. 